This video will provide the UPS automotive technician with Insight version 8.0.3 and newer familiarization on the following four topics. Work orders, ECM images including the image analyzer, ECM code search, and fault code management including fault code analyzer. If you do not currently have version 8.0.3 on your SBDT, please use the update manager to update to the latest version. Section 1 Work Orders Work orders are inside electronic file folders that can be created for a given vehicle's engine ECM images. UPS SBDTs have work order mode enabled. So, a work order window will pop up automatically each time the user connects to the ECM. Also, a new ECM image window will pop up automatically each time the user disconnects from the ECM if a work order was created at connection. If necessary, the user can manually create work orders by clicking on File, then New, then Work Order, or clicking on the Work Orders ECM Images ECM Templates icon, then right-clicking anywhere in the Work Order field, then left-clicking on New Work Order in the pop-up. When new work orders are created, Cummins recommends that the user change the default work order number name in the pop-up to the vehicle unit number. The work order number can be changed by clicking in the work order number field and typing the desired name. This will start a file folder slash history for the vehicle unit numbers ECM images. This will display the vehicle unit numbers as the work order, making it easier to find ECM images in the future. So let's demonstrate how the UPS technician would see it on Insight in the SBDT. After clicking on Connect to ECM, at the Connect pop-up, leave the security type as None, then click Connect. At the new work order pop-up window, scroll down to the work order number. Note that the default value is that WO and it's a, a date code and timestamp, but we'll click on that box and we'll type uh, a vehicle unit number. In this case, we'll do 275500. No, we can put some technician notes in here if we'd like, but we'll keep that blank and click OK. So once again, I'm connected and the only work orders I see are work orders that are associated with the ECM that I am connected to. Here is the new ECM image window pop up when disconnecting. This is to serve as a reminder to the technician if changes were made such as features and parameters so that they would be saved in a different image than the image that was created upon initial connection. I will click OK here. And notice I have another ECM image associated with the work order or the vehicle number. So as mentioned before, following Cummins recommendations and calling the work order number the vehicle number I have a handy reference of all the ECM images associated with that vehicle number sorted in order of newest to oldest. Note also when I disconnected now all of the work orders or saved in this SBDT are shown so if I didn't use the vehicle number and I left the default value which is the WO value I wouldn't have reference to a vehicle number making it much more difficult to find any ECM images that, that were created for a given vehicle. Connecting when an ECM has already had a work order created. If a work order already exists 
in a given SBDT for an ECM being connected to a work order mode dash new slash activate pop-up window will appear. The user can either one click on the displayed work order and click OK which will create a new ECM image under the given work order or two click on new which will create a new work order and a new ECM. Let's demonstrate that as the UPS technician would see it on the SBDT and Insight. So this same SBDT has been used to create a work order uh, for a given uh, connected ECM in the past. So when the technician goes to connect, they will get the work order mode new activate pop up. Cummins recommends to keep the same work order number and uh, so highlight that and click on OK to create a new image under that work order number. You'll get the new ECM image pop-up. You can uh, name the image other than the default name if you'd like. You can put technician notes. In this case I'll just click OK. It will create that image and note now I have both images under that work order number which is the vehicle unit number. Work orders, closing comments. Multiple ECM images can be created for a given work order as we have shown. They will all be listed below the work order in order of newest to oldest. Column widths in work order window can be adjusted by moving cursor over column header division lines until mouse pointer changes to double arrow. Then click and drag to desired width or to minimize column widths. To demonstrate that, you'll notice my uh, mouse pointer changes to the double arrow when I move over those division lines. I can, when I have that symbol, I can push and hold the left click and drag it to the desired width or completely collapse that section if I desire. Section 2 ECM images. An ECM image is an electronic file of engine ECM data at the time of its creation including fault codes, advanced ECM data, features and parameters, trip information, audit trail. An ECM image is automatically created any time a work order is created. Recall what we did in section 1. Other ways to create ECM images? After the creation of a work order and the initial ECM image, additional ECM images can be created by clicking on File New ECM Image, left click on Work Order to highlight it blue, then right click to get the pop-up menu and left click on new ECM image. To demonstrate those, um, I would here's the first way to just go file new and then ECM image. The other way is I can uh, click on that work order and right click and I get my pop-up to uh, have new ECM image. Analyze image. Analyze image processes the ECM data into a more user-friendly format and displays it in another window. The user can save the data in Excel or Acrobat file format. This also allows them to share the data with others. To analyze an ECM image, right click on ECM image of interest, then left click on analyze image in the pop-up. Let's demonstrate. So in this example, I will uh, use an ECM image for the work order for vehicle number 275243. I'll expand that work order and get that image and right click on that image and click on analyze image. Pay special uh, note to fault codes. Um, in Insight, it's difficult to figure out um, the most recent fault codes. In the analyze image fault code tab, you can see that the math is done for you. So uh, in the far right hand column here, you can see the time since the last fault code is displayed and it also lists the fault codes uh, in order of newest to oldest the newest being uh, highlighted in yellow but it also will um, color code if there was any active faults present notice the other tabs um, data collection duty cycle monitor after treatment system fault snapshot calculators engine abuse history, image summary, uh, sensor monitor parameters, engine protection, and audit trail. Okay, to save the uh, data, 
I uh, on all the tabs. Notice there's there's two tabs. There's a export current feature which just will save the current tab. Um, it's recommended to be safe to export all features, which Section 3, ECM Code Search. ECM Code Search is used to search for and save updated calibration files. UPS SBDTs have automated ECM Code Search enabled. During connection process to the ECM, Insight will automatically check for calibration updates. If calibration updates are found, the ECM Code Search window will be shown with the results in the status box so the UPS user could get two pop-ups when connecting to the ECM. One being a work order, two being the ECM code search. If calibration updates are not found, the ECM code search window will not be shown. Note calibration revision history can be viewed and calibration can be saved. Saving the calibration does not recalibrate the ECM. It saves the calibration to the calibration workspace, making it available for download via the normal ECM recalibration process. In this example, reading the status box in the pop-up, the ECM code search has found the calibration on the web. Continue reading. It states, to see calibration history, click on the calibration history button. To save the latest calibration files to your computer, click the save button. Note the warranty information box. Please refer to the ECM calibration guidelines. That number is a QuickServe Online procedure number reference. In section 2 of the warranty administration manual to determine if an ECM calibration update can be covered by Cummins warranty. And it has a hot link for that. Continuing down, I have my ECM code. Now this is the button I can click on to save it. And note that it, remember this won't recalibrate the ECM. This will just save it to the calibration workspace. If I wanted to see calibration revision history, I can click on that button. Here are the results of the ECM calibration revision history query. Notice it shows me the ECM code revisions. Um, it looks like an order of newest to oldest. The revision date, if it's warranty or not, the fail code, the description, and any ESN ranges that would be associated with it. So this uh, is helpful uh, for the technician to make a decision whether or not he needs to save and recalibrate an ECM to uh, correct a problem that may be being experienced. So after I close the calibration revision history, note that I can save the calibration and once again that will save the calibration to the calibration workspace. It will not recalibrate the ECM. So I'll go ahead and click on save. Uh, once again read the status box. Uh, calibration uh, successfully saved to the calibration workspace. To send the calibration to the ECM close this window and select ECM button on calibration selection screen. So for the training, uh, we'll stop here, but we have uh, saved that calibration and the, to be downloaded uh, if desired. Section 4, Fault Code Management. To get fault codes while connected to an ECM and Insight, simply click on the fault code icon. Note window may need to be manually dragged to the top and does not cascade. To be directed to the diagnostics for a specific fault code, simply double click on the fault code. So let's demonstrate. I'm already connected to an ECM. I will click on fault codes. I will click on the bottom here to get my double arrow, hold down the left click button and drag the fault code window to the top so I can see everything and get a list of all the fault codes and note I can just double click on any of the fault codes to get to the diagnostic guide. Multiple fault codes. If multiple fault codes exist and the user wants help determining which ones should be diagnosed first, create an ECM image if necessary, if it already hasn't been created. Right click on the image Click on Analyze Image, 
Click on Fault Codes tab and ECM Image Analyzer window that is created and record all active fault codes and all inactive fault codes with more than one count logged in the last 25 engine hours. For this example, I want to use the ECM image for tractor 275-243. So from my work orders images screen, I will scroll down until I find that tractor number. I'll click on the plus sign next to that work order and then I will click on the image associated with that work order and I will click on analyze image I will click on the fault codes tab so note here remember the criteria it was active or inactive and it was with uh, more than one count and it was uh, less than 25 hours ago so using those criteria uh, remember and when I do um, analyze image it does the math for me on the time since the um, last fault so I uh, looks like these top three faults are less than 25 hours I'll go back here and look at the counts they're all more than one count so these are the three that I will uh, record 2436, 566 and 2725 the next step is to open Cummins QuickServe online uh, this can be accessed via iGate, manufacturer websites the user ID is PWC UPS and the password is Cummins. Enter the engine serial number and hit enter. Click on service. Click on the fault code search. And enter all active fault codes and all inactive fault codes with more than one count logged in the last 25 hours. Then click analyze. So all the fault codes that I just recorded. Now I'll go to QuickServe Online enter that serial number 75025840 hit enter uh, I need to click on service I need to click on um, fault code search and there's the engine fault code analyzer so I would type in 2436 566 Two seven two five, and click on analyze, and it would give me the uh, order in which to diagnose, starting with uh, fault code two seven two five. What if no fault codes are present? Sometimes those can be the most difficult. Open Qu Cummins QuickServe online. Once again, iGate manufacturer websites, user ID and password. Enter the engine serial number and hit enter click on service click on manuals click on ISX 12G service manual note troubleshooting symptom sections TS and TT expand the sections by clicking the plus signs and note the TT section has engine performance troubleshooting tree which includes such things as engine acceleration or response poor difficult to start or will not start uh, etc so let's demonstrate that. Let's go back to QuickServe Online. I've already, uh, from the last example, I already have my engine serial number entered. I'll click on Service. I'll click on Manuals. And I'll click on the uh, Service Manuals. Okay, there's my TS and TT so I'll click on the plus next to the TS and see a whole bunch of symptoms in the TS section none of those are performance related uh, section TT there is my engine performance troubleshooting tree along with others I'll click on the performance troubleshooting tree and there is my performance troubleshooting tree to follow if I do not have any fault codes.